So firstly, what you're going to need is you're going to need some plain paper, some markers, and you're going to need a wall. Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be talking about memorization technique and revision. So what I'm going to be sharing is my number one main technique that I use to revise, to memorize anything from. It's basically anytime I want to study hardcore, this is the technique that I use. So I thought I would share it with you guys in the hopes that it will help you guys too. So it's worth pointing out now that this technique only works once you know the information, once you've already condense down the information quite a bit and you're familiar with it because if you basically are picking up a new topic for the first time it won't really work that well. You kind of need to know what you want to condense and what you want to memorize and what you want to revise before doing this technique. Firstly what you're going to need is you're going to need some plain paper, some multicolored markers and you're going to need a wall. So step one is gather the resources that you want to revise from. This can be revision notes or what have you, but in my case it was a textbook. So I opened up the textbook and found the section that I wanted to revise and memorize. And then you begin to write down all of the information from the textbook. So I put my titles in red, key information in blue, and everything else is in black. And I tend to write it in rather a bullet pointed fashion. And then each piece of paper should be one topic. And then once you've done that, you can go ahead and put it on the wall. Okay, so this is the portion of the technique that is the actual memorization portion. Everything leading up to this is kind of passive. This is the true active revision portion. The first thing is you read it. So I would say tribunals, why? Cost, free potential to also avoid legal fees. Then I will say it out loud. So I'll be like tribunals, why? Cost, the free and potential to avoid legal fees. And then I would say it over and over. So then once I feel like I've gotten that and I've tested myself, then I will add another chunk on. So I will go tribunals, why? Cost free, potential to avoid legal fees, access, located UK wide, less complex procedural requirements. Then when I feel like I've gotten that, we go back over it. So tribunals, why? Cost the free, potential to avoid legal fees, access, located UK, UK wide, and less complex procedural requirements. And you just go over and over and over and over. So eventually, you know, add chunk to chunk to chunk to chunk, sentence by sentence by sentence. You know, you might be able to just do word by word by word, but eventually that's sort of, you get sentence by sentence. And then once I've done this whole thing, then obviously I repeat the whole thing, and then I move on to another topic. And it gets to the point where if the whole wall is full, that you can say a whole wall in one big stream of verbal recall, and because you know it so well, you know it like that, you know, it gets to the point where I can literally close my eyes and in my head I can be like, ah yes, three down on the wall on that piece of paper, it says this about this about this. So, you know, I know that I know it like that and I think that the visual element helps me be able to recall the information in my head and I can kind of see this in my head. So, yeah. That's that portion. So once you've gotten to the point where you read it out loud, you've said it over and over multiple times, you can close your eyes, you can sort of say it aloud again, and you feel like you know the information, then you can make it harder for yourself. So when I get to the stage where, you know, because I cover my whole wall in these notes, when I get to the stage that I can start at the top and work all the way through the wall, you know, with closed eyes and I can memorize it and go boom, 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 that's when I like to make it harder for myself. So I listen to music and I always listen to like Stevie Wonder because I feel like the funky groovy beats always throw me off and I always want to like dance to it. I always say to myself if I can listen to music like that or listen to like I don't know Prodigy something like really hardcore. If I can listen to music like that and still not skip a beat and still be able to memorize it and say it then I know that I know it and equally you know I'll go on a run and when I'm you know jogging on my morning run I will say it aloud and honestly I'm a very firm believer that if you train in difficult conditions when it comes to the main event you know you're going to be used to it you're going to know what to expect and you're going to sail it so that's why I do these things such as listen to heavy music or go for a run or do it in the shower and if I can still recall it perfectly then being in that exam hall hearing people flick their pens about or cough or whatever hear, seeing the invigilators walk up and down 
isn't going to compare to the things that I've practiced with so I can be able to just sit down crack on and write and recall all the information that I need to and you know using it like that has really really helped me in able to just know like know that I know the information and be able to perfectly recall it in the exam so yeah, it's really, really helped me. This technique has the way that I've done it. Certain elements of this technique might work for you. Um, I really hope that this technique is helpful for you and that you sell your exams. Good luck to everybody now because this video will come out basically when it is in the depth of exam season. So good luck to everybody doing GCSEs, A-levels, university exams, whatever they may be. And we can do it. So I'll see you in the next video. I'll see you next week. Bye guys.